The first one of three fighters tonight fighting out of Naples, and they have one of the best supporters in the world. Yeah, they are making noise here for Lupoli. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three, five-minute rounds Ready? if they need them. Go. In the Cage Warriors bantamweight division, Yarasimo Siutis in the black and white. Michelangelo Lupoli in the short black. Chopping leg kick early. Lupoli coming in comfortably under the 136 pound limit yesterday. And you can see the size difference already between these two. Oh, beautiful body kick. And a lot of stance switches right before that. I'm sure there's nothing you probably would love more than racking up a few more wins and potentially at some point next year, maybe the year after, staking his claim for another shot at LeBlanc. I'm sure he'd love to get a win back there. Don't forget, folks, our main card coming up, 8.30 p.m. European time tonight. Cage Warriors 178 live on UFC Fight Pass and international broadcast partners. Check your local listings to see where you can catch the action. And, of course, we are back Friday, November 15th at the Indigo, the fight capital of the UK. Two huge title fights. And for my money, one of the cards of the year. Explosive low kicks by Lupoli. Yeah, Lupoli really getting stuck in early with those kicks. Yeah, he's just letting them march him backwards, though. Oh, there's a big head kick. And it certainly would be bragging rights for Lupoli if he could finish Ciutis here, given that LeBlanc went the distance with him. Yeah, not, not a, whole long, a whole lot going on from Ciutis here. He's um, a weird guard and just seems to be defending and marching him down. Yeah, he's not taking many risks here, and you can see why perhaps he's got uh, so many points victories on his record. He's he's not engaging when he doesn't have to. He's not making silly mistakes. He's just waiting for Lapoli to give him something now. A lot of feints, a lot of study. Oh, lovely front kick. And the breeze off that one. A spinning back kick to the left. Nice right hand landed from Zeusis there, but Lupoli just giving a little wag of the finger saying, nope, didn't hurt me. Nearly like that sort of drunk boxing style, isn't it? Like the sort of swaying and looping the shots up. Lovely left hook from Lepoli there. Something you don't see that much is that Philly shell in MMA, is it? Absolutely not. But hey, why not? Why not give it a go? Oh, nice. oh big body kick from True Love. That's going to get Sita's attention. It seems like Sita can take advantage of his uh, range. Even if Lupoli is the shortest fighter, he's using his range better than his opponent. Yeah, absolutely. And when you combine the speed of Lupoli with that, it's a dangerous proposition. If I was in a corner of his opponent, I would tell him not to drop his hands. I mean, you don't want to drop your hands standing in front of an explosive fighter like Lupoli. Lupoli's doing very well of putting the kicks behind there, his hands.
Coley with wins over the likes of Tanio Pagliariccio, Aaron Aby, as we said, Sheldon Ryan. And his two losses in Cage Warriors, former champ Sam Creasy. Seconds are out, round two on the way. Let's see if he picks up the pace in this second round. Definitely busier with the jab already. We know both of these guys can go deep. Ooh, beautiful! Ricoli doesn't want to get too carried away here, but he's landing some big shots. I think he smells blood. Fair play for Ciutas, he wore them well. Beautiful left hand. Fingers, watch those fingers. Nice keep on the lead leg. That's going to stop a lot of kicks coming forward if he can stay on that. Beautiful overhand by Lukoli. That's one of the best weapons against the taller guy, the, the big looping overhand shot. Lukoli, really smart cage walk there, um, just getting us back off the cage. Circling out, I'd like to see that again now instead of getting cut off. Matilis keeping the center, pressuring Lupoli against the gate with his footwork. Oh, nice stop on the knee. Stretching in the side kicks, but Lupoli fires back with a spinning heel kick to the thigh. Nice kick up the middle there from Lupoli. He's just trying to. Get the gamesmanship going here. But it's not working for him. It's really awkward style coming forward, hasn't he? Look on his corner, asking for spinning kicks. And here we have it. Great performance, spin and a miss. Odd stance from Cetus as he tries to bait Lupoli in, but Lupoli having none of it, staying very calm and composed. You just don't know what's going to come from Cetus. He's throwing a lot of like faint, like odd faint too, and then just not doing too much with them. Lupoli is game. One hundred percent. He will give as good as he gets all night long. You can see he's just bracing and waiting to give him a big clatter off the back of whatever he's doing. For all the awkwardness of you to see, he needs to start putting points on the board here. There we go. The left hand, that's a little better. A bit high that time, but no real sting on the kick. tries to go for the takedown, pressuring his opponent against the fence. Knee to the body from Lupoli. Looks like Ciutas no no coaching. went low there. You tell me when you're ready. Stay here for me. We're going to take a look, see if we can see that. I'm sure not intentional, just caught his man on the cup, but Lupoli, if he wants it, will have five minutes. He doesn't. He wants to get straight back to it. Didn't look like the worst shot in the world, so... Ah, that was a little love tap there. Ready, go. Ah, nice shoulder strike. And a good shout from Rich Mitchell there to give uh, Lupoli back the advantageous position that he had. Didn't want to penalise him there. Oh, beautiful. Quick as a flash with those high kicks. 
Liverpool is best with his legs. We can hear the crowd going absolutely insane, rooting for Luboli. He's putting on a show for his fans here tonight, that's for sure. Just not seeing the same kind of volume from Ciutas as we are from his opponent. Ciutas just keeps coming forward and if you notice he keeps bringing his feet together. If Lopoli catches him, he'll bleed and send him tumbling. Busy it towards the end of the frame here is Ciutis, but that's another big round in the bank. Well, we're back underway. Third and final round. Erasmus Ciutis, Angelo Lupoli, and Lupoli again getting back to work with those kicks They're very fast and accurate with them to the lion's share of this contest so far oh, oh, he's oh, kick. lowering his stance to set up heavy kicks if holly has been watching a best of K1 DVD and prep for this one we've seen some Andy Hook style stuff we've seen some Glabo Pitosa style stuff he actually looks a little bit like Raven Deckers with the hair doesn't he <laughs> Little, little, little pull off. Very, very fast head movement from Lupoli in defending the Frances. I'd like to see Lupoli touch the body before he goes to the head with the head kick. A little bit of gamesmanship by Lupoli now, and it's paying off for him. This low kick are making a very heavy sound. Look, when a fighter changes weight class, there's always going to be that question, how are they going to fare at the higher weight? And the, and the answer so far for Lupoli is very well. Yeah. He's not looking out of place at all here. Yeah, he's looking strong and active here. Oh, nice flying knee. Still got a few tricks in the book here. Looks like he's having fun in here, Lupoli. Three minutes look, left. Lupoli doesn't look tired at all. Looks like he just started. Three. Nice right hand there. Ciutis calling his man on, but it's on Ciutis here to do something this late in the game. He's got to take it to Lupoli now. Yeah, I think we can count on one hand how many significant shots uh, Ciutis has had. Hasn't been very busy at all. Oh, little Zabitro there. He must have been watching me. As we said, folks, two weeks' time, Cage Warriors are back in London, and just a week after that, we will end the European leg of the 2024 World Tour in Newcastle. Cage Warriors won 81, three title fights on that card. Big kick to the body there from Lupoli. Beautiful. Wow. Nice half kick by Lupoli. Plenty of high performance moves from Lupoli. Certainly giving Ciutis a lot to think about here. Oh, oh the calf kick. that calf is definitely damaged. Deep to the face. Lupoli is showcasing all of his kickboxing arsenal. Lupoli throwing every trick in the book. I think we've seen everything but a cartwheel kick. Well, there's still time. Just under a minute left in this final round. 
What will Lupoli show us next? Don't you say Kurt will kick an Italian? And it's Lupoli now trying to bait his man in. Having some fun in there. You love to see it. Big smile on his face, calling Suyutis on. I'd love to see a point to the floor now. I'm expecting the flying knee coming out of nowhere. Final 10 seconds of the round and the fight. Performance there. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this contest 30 27 in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision. In the right corner, Michael Angel.